Hi everyone and welcome. Okay, this is a little bit different than my normal, these are my hands by the way, hi. A um, little bit different from the videos I've been doing. Basically, as being a therapist, I've had to find some ways of dealing with some quite heavy stuff during my day. I've taken up art. I've always drawn stuff and I've always been into it and I've done other things but I've never really gone into it and really gone into the different methods and way of using things and supplies and everything else. So that's what I've been doing and I started pretty much, well last November pretty much. So I missed Inktober which is um, in October and the idea is you draw something every day based on this uh, sheet giving you different prompts each day. So I missed that so I thought I'd do it this year. And then this advert came through from Art Snacks about their Inktober box, which I have now bought. So basically, I'm, I'm going to look in this. I've, I already opened it and I started filming, but there were shadows everywhere. So I bought a little ring light and hopefully it's better now. Ooh, there's a bit of a shadow, but nah, that'll do you. So I have opened it. I had a cheeky look. Look, Woo, there we go but I haven't really gone through anything, I haven't swatched anything, so I'm going to do it now and I'm going to have a go at Inktober. I'm sure as heck not going to be uploading every day. No, none, just no. Um, I might do one a week. I'll just see how it goes, but I think, I think it will be good for me and hopefully sharing sort of my journey with you would help you in some way. Don't come to me if, if you've clicked on this hoping for some amazing art showing you how to use these things effortlessly and, and I can't even say the word. Yeah, no, no, I, I'm okay. You can see what I meant to do. You can see what I meant. It looks basically, if I draw a dog, it kind of looks like a dog. I'm all right, you know, it's possible it'll do, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a learner. I stop, I'll stop faffing about basically. So let's have a look. Ooh, right, okay, so the normal list of things that are in the box, get that out of the way. This is your Inktober um, welcome letter. Uh, it is from Jake Parker, who I think came up with the whole thing years ago, what it says here. Um, journey, it doesn't say. Years ago, he did say years ago. So there's that. And I assume he did that. I like that. Right, okay. Paper. Well, that's useful. We, we, can, we can go in for paper, absolutely. Um, rag paper. Excellent for a variety of techniques, including printmating, drawing, lettering, and painting. It's, again, no, no expert, but I believe thickness is an issue. It's not that thick. I've certainly had thicker, but it's quite thick. I would imagine you wouldn't want to do watercolours or anything. Certainly no oily or acrylic-y stuff. But inks, yeah, that'll do. There's quite a few. How many are there? 20 sheets. So not quite one for every day. There's 31 days in October. So not quite one every day. I don't know if I want separate sheets or if I want a book, which I can see under there. Shall we go straight to the book and be saucy or shall we go for this? Let's look at this and save the book. So we've got some jewel tip pens. King Art. I have really come across them before. They're the colours that we've got. 24. I have my plan of what I wanted to use. So whether I'm going to, I'm not going to say this is what I have to use. But well it was there and I had to have it. So there you go. But I was going to use these Bombay ink things. Let's have a go there. We'll, we'll we'll swatch them out. Let's get this out of the way a bit and attempt to get this all in shot in a sort of arty way. There we go. We'll have a go. We'll see what they're like. I haven't got the hang of brush tip pens, I must admit. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Now, this is what I saw. This is Plumchester is Art Snack's own brand, I think, aren't they? So... I'll open that in a minute. Oh, let's open it now. Right, that took, that took forever. Um, note to self, bring scissors with you 
be doing this. Right, let's open it up. So we've got the little insert thingy there. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I'm using this. It says Inktober. It's embossed. Embossed. That means it's important and can never be used for anything but this. So, right, I shall, I, I'll, have a, I'll have a go on that paper and I'll have a go on this paper. But I think this is what I'm going to be doing. It's quite nice and thick. It feels okay. Again, absolutely no expert. But hopefully by the end of this I'll have a bit of a better idea. But I'm very happy with that. I, I'm, I'm using that. It says it. So I'm using it. Oh, sweetie. Airheads. Don't think we have these in England. Cherry flavour. I confess, I don't like things flavoured with cherry or banana. So that will be passed on to somebody who likes a bit of cherry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I recognise this. I've got one of these ones. This is the... Yep, the Copic one. So these obviously work well with Copics, which I do actually own. Oh, it's like a fountain pen. Am I holding that right? Shall I do this thing that they do with their hands? Like, ooh, look at that. I haven't got one of these. I've got like a fine liner. I think. I'll have to check. Ooh, okay. And this. I know what this is as well. I'm, I've had a go and I'm not very good with them, but that is rather a pretty one. Look at that. It is a dip pen with one end. <laughs> One dippy pen end. So they slot in. Oh, blimey. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, where do they go? Do they just, does it just go in? I assume, oh yeah, there we go. It just goes in. That, yeah. Yeah, that's quite sturdy. I do like the look of that. I actually have a glass pen that I was using for a while and it is really good. But yeah, it is glass. And um, if, if you drop it, it breaks. Um, it's actually still in one piece. It's just the very end that you use has broken off. So, mm, okay. So this obviously is to be used with this. So we've got some Speedball. Is that a Speedball too? I'll have a look in a minute. Uh, Speedball Super Black India Ink. That's rather a snazz. It looks like something you'd have in Star Trek. Ah. So some India Ink in black. I am making the assumption. Yep. Yeah. Permanent waterproof black pigment. Right. Have a go on that. Oh, there we go. Jelly roll. Three jelly. Oh, different sizes. Oh, cool. These are really useful. Definitely. So we got a 0.5, 4, 0, 5, 0, 8, and a 1, 10. I don't know. Again, no idea what I'm doing. But I'm going to have a go. So there we go. That is... Let's get the box out of the way. Oh, sticker. Sorry if that was really loud. Sticker. Got to have your sticker. So that is what we have got. We've got two kinds of paper. We can either use one. I'm using this. We've also got this. So we'll swatch on both. Some ink, a dip pen, a Copic fountain pen, drawing pen, and jelly roll. Now, I must admit this for me, because I'm in England, really expensive because the posters were really expensive. And I think, I don't want to say out loud how much it cost, it was expensive. And then they caught me on the, um, what's it called? That's, that's wiggling my fingers will help me, the customs, and charged me an extra £18 something to get it from the post office. So that was fun. But let's have a go. Let's swap on these guys. Let's swatch them up and see what happens. I'm going to use the last page of my sketchbook and just see if it goes through, how well it does, how badly it does. <sighs> right, let's have a go at this first. The Copic drawing pen. Let's just see. It is pretty much the one that I've already got and they are very nice and I did... I brought in a Copic ooh, to see if it if it works on it and if it runs and everything else. So, hi. I did tell you, don't come here for a massive amazing stuff. But yeah, it's quite, quite nice. It does flow. It has got that fountain penny thing. My handwriting, as you can see, is awful. 
and any pen that has a slight difference in the control of ink in how it flows I guess I don't do well with so I, I don't know we shall see let's um very quickly it hasn't quite dried but hey there you go pretty much let's see how quickly it goes boom boom oh not bad that is not bad actually that is there you go little dinky tiny bit of movement at the end but uh, that'll do me right okay so that one I like let's put a little bit of this down so it's just a, a copic is it copic oh, co oh copic I don't know but this is a g24 so there you go it's very pretty uh does this go over the top yes it does right so that's that the jelly roll right uh zero eight which is the kind that i have there and then zero five which is a much thinner one if it would work you're gonna work please work is it working? It's vaguely, oh, just vaguely, vaguely working. My, that is thin. That is actually really thin. Look at that. Not bad, actually. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know about the thin one. I'm going to need some more, some more green. There we go. In a minute, I'll turn the page over and see what happened with that, because Copics, they just, they go through everything. This is the oh, this is the ten. So this is the thick one. Yeah, you can you definitely you can see a difference. Definitely, you can hear noises. That's me standing up and down to actually see that you can see this thing. But yeah, interesting. I didn't actually think that these. This is my one, just the zero eight, which is the medium one. I didn't know they came in other sizes. That's interesting. So here are all the colours. They they do they go down quite nicely. They are streakier than others I know of. There's no names or anything, but I mean the caps they're not they're not far off. The you know the caps pretty much tell you what they are, which is good. Sometimes when you swatch these things, let's go over it again. Um, you swatch it and it's no colour at all like the pen lid, but that's just pretty good. Happy with that. Right. Ink. I've already got myself mucky. I'm a real artist now. Right. I have no water in here except my water bottle, so this is going to be fun. Right. Well, that was, um, yeah. That was fun. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, my Lord. Well, that just happened. We can make that into something. It'll be fine. Hang on. So, yeah. Um... It, it's my, my experiment that I, I meant to do, that I did on purpose just for you. Yeah, it's um, it stains a little bit. <laughs> so I have these, these weird little slightly discoloured ends of fingers, but eh, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll let that dry and it can become a bird. There we go. Right. Oh, let's have a go. Again, spoiler. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's have a look. Oh, actually. I well, like this one. The other ones I had, I watched um, Drawing With Waffles do her last um, October, uh, Inktober. I watched her do hers. She did quite a few and I really love her stuff, which is why I, I bought all the Bombay inks. And I bought the same one. Oh, we're running out. I bought the same speedball ends as she had. And I, just, I could not get on with them. But this one, they just didn't seem to pick up any ink. I don't know what I was doing wrong. This one, I'm quite enjoying. Let's have a look. Let's just try not to, you know. Oh dear, I am mucky. All right, there you go. It's quite smooth. It, you can see the the differences in the the 
ink stroke sizes, whatever you'd call it. But I quite like that. If you're going to hear me meow, it's my cat outside. She wants to come in, but bless her, she won't stop meowing. It's just like this constant, piteous, the apocalypse is coming, human. Why don't you understand me? No idea what I'm doing, by the way. And, um, yeah, she's staring at the gate now. She's fine, she's fine. My other cat's in here, Lego, and she's sitting quietly. So she can stay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the level you're going to be getting. Uh, let's let that dry a little bit. I have absolutely no way of washing this now. So let's just put it there and hope for the best, shall we? Everything's fine. So that's what we got. What I was going to do for Inktober, and um, that's it for the box. If, you, if you'd like to continue listening to me go on, please do. You love the sound Copics make. Um, my plan was, I'll show you my plan in a minute. I'm going to do this and see how much this paper can take. I'm going to turn it over and not get it on that. And see, oh, there's nothing through on the other side, on the other bit of paper. But, right, the Copic, of course, is going to be going through. But the other ones, absolutely nothing. Might consider trying these. Or it does mean wasting a page. That's the trouble with Copics in this kind of thing. You waste the page, really. But we shall see. It's a, it's a big enough uh, book to waste a few pages here and there. So I'm okay with that. I do prefer Copics, I must admit. Now, what I was going to do, I'll show you what my original plan and the stuff that I wanted to use was. So, I saw, and I can't, oh, I can't for the life of me while doing this remember his name. I will put the link down in the description. But I saw this guy flicking through one of his notebooks, and it, it was this notebook. This is why I bought it. Um, this uh, dark brown tan colour. And he was doing this kind of thing using, well, the jelly rolls and the Copics to create this kind of look. And I really did like this look. And then, don't ask me what this is, I got it in a Zen Pop box. If you don't know what Zen Pop is, uh, it's awesome. It's a monthly subscription box, little ditty box of Japanese stationery. And I love it, and I've been getting it for ages, and I'm obsessed. Um, but I got this in there. It's it's a brush pen, basically, uh, the big brush, and a little brush. I don't know if they were the right lids. I don't think it matters. And it gives this really wonky line, for the want of a better word. And I do really like that. Um, these are my mold spuds, by the way. They're mold spuds, and this as well I'm, I'm getting there I think I, I don't want to I don't want to show too much because some of it's not as good as others and some of it's just you know but you can tell it's a cat you know you can tell I hope that that is a cat my promise is kept and there's a little a little demon I don't know why but that's what I was thinking of getting another one of these books it is uh, Caché by Dowler Roney. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Amazon. But seeing I have this and seeing it is... Well, it's got Inktober written on the front. I'm going to use this instead. And then I was going to use, as I said, this, the good old jelly roll, Copics, and maybe I've literally just bought these today. It's a set of 14, well, one of them's black and I've already got black. So 13 coloured Micron size 05, which are, they're good. They came in a plastic packet, which was weird, but they, they seem to be what they are. So maybe incorporating them. The idea is, I think, with, um, with Inktober to keep it simple. So really black and white, with a bit of copper, uh, with a bit of colour. So, these are pretty much every single one. I bought, there's a pack one and pack two, and I bought both of them. And some of them really separate, which is weird, but that's what I plan to use. Let's have a look. Which one shall we use? 
that one's oh my lord look at that the uh, terracotta has pretty much completely gone there we go that's back it's fine it's fine for this let's use a bright color let's go for oh bright red there you go excuse me I'm not trying to be rude or anything there we go right get those off and let's just put a little dot and of course I forgot a uh, paintbrush of course I did why would I have remembered something useful so we'll have a go at this that's fine because with this you go over the paper too much it's going to tear up but itsy bit I don't think you can even see that on this there's an itty bitty little bit but I think that's more and there you go and my sleeves have magically changed okay it's the next day because my film stopped filming but there you go and I also I, I made a little it's a little thing it's a little thing it's like a little porcupiney little thing so there you go um, I use these pens I'm, I, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong they're just they're streaky and they by really buckle up the paper I mean this buckled it up I mean that yeah we'll, we'll ignore that but yeah it's not my thing I don't these are not my thing I don't like them there you go I've said it out loud but um no I won't be using these but if you know how to use the water-based things go for it absolutely they're nice for what they are they're just not my thing and I can't figure them out but there you go so that is my Inktober plan I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, but we'll find out October the 1st, won't we? But hopefully, I don't know, this has helped, showing you the box and a uh, complete noob and what they plan to do. Hopefully it's sort of helped you and go for it, I think. Just go for it, enjoy it. It's not a competition. It's supposed to help getting your drawing going and getting you going with it. So definitely go and have a go. If it's something you're interested in, do it and thank you very much for watching and i'll hopefully see you at some point drawing stuff a bit you know with more care than you know bob and our little porcupine but there you go thank you very much bye